Now, if we're talking about ACL rehab, one of the first things that I'm sure we all know, regaining proper controlled quad contraction and knee extension equal to the contralateral side is super important. And this is something we need to talk about when it comes to decelerating OA as well, because we know it's a risk factor. So thinking on that systems model, I would put that loss extension in the, the functional biomechanics, right? So if that person's been able to extend their knee normally, they have a slight injury, and then they leave your clinic the last time, not being able to fully extend their knee, not having full knee extension during their gait pattern, then their gait is altered. They're loading that knee differently. Their quads are not going to be activating to the same extent, which for two weeks matters not at all. But in 10 years, 20 years, this certainly is not going to be ideal if we're wanting to put our foot on the brake of decelerating OA. This data is from the, the US, the Osteoarthritis Initiative involves, um, I always think with knee OA research or knee research is a great way to double your sample size because this is from um, 8,667, I believe, knees followed up over nine years and they grouped people into those people who had no flexion contracture. So they could lock get their affected knee straight uh, and those people who couldn't um, and you can see there's a real clear increase incidence rate of knee away amongst those people who had a flexion contraction